Hello and welcome to a quick video on squaring up your supernova laser head. I'm Cameron with CanCam CNC Machines and we're going to show you all of the tricks and tips you need to know to square up your laser head so that the beam path is perfectly straight through your material. So we have a minimal amount of tools here, you really don't need much. Here's a 2.5 Allen key. Um, we have some scrap half inch uh, acrylic clear, uh, some scrap plywood, you can use that as well. Um, or anything else that's similar to these you can probably use. Uh, so we're going to actually start off with some tests to verify what way our beam path is going. So I like to autofocus my machine off of the, this acrylic while it's standing up. So I'm going to do that now. And then I'm gonna send a laser pulse through and watch what direction our beam travels. All right, so I've just sent a pulse through. We're gonna look at the acrylic. So as it's standing, we're gonna look to see if it angles to the left, angles to the right. And then if you look from a side view, you're gonna look to see if that beam travels too far forwards or too far backwards. So here's our left and right. And then at the side there, you can see our front to back is angled wrong. So if you don't have a piece of acrylic to use like we did to, to fire the beam through, you can just find uh, some plywood and actually cut a square out. And then you would hold it up and look at the angles on the left and right. You'd spin it and then look at the other sides as well. And just verify if it's going at a certain angle left to right or front to back. And then we'll correct for that. So we did our test and we've determined that our left to right is okay. So we don't need to twist this left to right, but our front to back is tipped a little too far forwards. So what we're gonna do is try to tip it backwards and we're gonna use either a brass shim or a washer. Um, you can use a thin washer or a thick washer. You're gonna have to install it and determine after some testing if it corrected enough. So installing that is pretty easy. There's three bolt holes and those go all the way through to the bolts that connect uh, into the gantry here. So you just use a 2.5 Allen key and you loosen all three of them. So there's one, there's two and three and you're going to fully remove that. Um, you can already see it's quite loose. We haven't removed all the bolts entirely. But yeah, you're going to fully remove all those and then we're going to install the washer behind there. So if you're really uh, steady with the bolts, you can actually slide them out perfectly. But sometimes they may actually fall into the lens holder in here. Now we want to avoid that as much as possible. So you have a few options. You can either uh, disconnect your airline here and loosen the lens holder and then drop that down so that if the bolts fall, they fall directly below onto this piece of wood here. Or you can open up the left side here by unscrewing a window. Keep in mind yours might be slightly different than this. And then you have access in there to try and assist the bolts uh, through these holes. So we've decided to play it safe and we've removed our lens holder. You just unscrew the, the air fitting on the side and remove it. And now we can remove these bolts and they'll probably fall through as we remove them. So there's one. Two and I think the third, there goes one of them. And all three are out. I think they're still sitting in there. In some circumstances, the bolts uh, don't actually come entirely out and fall, uh, but they are separated from the gantry now. So we have full mobility of that. Um, what we're gonna do um, is actually try to leave those in there 
we don't have to fully remove them. And we're going to install our washer. We're going to install that behind the top bolt because we need to tip the mirror backwards. If you need to tip it the other way, you would install it under the bottom bolt. So installing this can be a little tricky. We're going to put the Allen key against the top bolt and we're going to very carefully try to slide that washer over the end of the bolt. without completely knocking the bolt free. And then we're gonna line that up so that we can screw it into the gantry. And we now have a washer in the top there and the other bolts, uh, the bottom one and the right one are gonna stay the same because we don't need to adjust uh, the tilt for those. So we're gonna try to screw those in as well and we'll snug all three of them up and then put it all back together and do some tests. So we've tightened our three bolts up and we're going to just put everything back together and do some testing. So that means our lens holder has to go back in, our window here has to go back over, and we'll have to lower the bed a little bit just to get some clearance. And that's going to slide back in. We're gonna install our air fitting. And then lock in at zero um, for now. Your actual scale here doesn't matter too much because the focus lens moves with the holder. So I always aim for zero. And now we're ready to do some tests. So we've auto focused on that. We've just sent our second pulse through the acrylic and left to right looks pretty good, same as before. Um, sometimes when you remove those bolts and adjust the front to back, you may lose your left to right angle. So keep that in mind. You may have to loosen these slightly and twist to correct that. Looking at our front to back, uh, it may have improved slightly but it looks like we still need to go a little bit more than the thin washer we put in there. So uh, we may have to add a second washer, add a thicker washer um, to correct that. But let's say you did the opposite. You put too thick of a material behind there. You may need to downsize to a thinner washer or a thinner brass shim or equivalent material. Using those strategies we've shown you, you can continue to make small adjustments to your angle left to right and your angle front to back until you get the desired effect. Um, once you're done your pulse test, it's also good to try cutting out a small square and then holding it up and looking at the edges yourself to see if you're happy with your cut quality. Thanks for joining us here at CanCam CNC for our Supernova laser head squaring video. If you need further assistance, you need uh, more parts or any questions, you can contact us at support at cancam.ca.